The Melodic Percussion Metal EKX from ToonTrack, an expansion library for Easy Keys 2, including two perfectly captured metal tone plate instruments, the vibraphone and the glockenspiel. The vibraphone was recorded in both the 330 square meter hall of Galaxy Studios Belgium and the smaller Studio One. This presents two very different takes on the instrument. In the large hall, the mic setup used to capture the vibraphone includes an array of close and ambience microphones, providing access to mixing in up to five channel surround with the multi-output feature. The vibraphone was sampled with both traditional mallets and a violin bow for two drastically different tonal options. Further, both articulations of the vibraphone can be controlled with a sustain pedal to control the length of the notes. The smaller, higher-pitched glockenspiel was captured with both stereo close and stereo ambience mics in the main large hall of Galaxy Studios. Both instruments in the melodic percussion metal EKX include a selection of presets that are mixed and affected for a specific sonic goal. These presets are found in the preset selection menu and they offer creative and practical options for use in your mixes. Presets can be dialed in with the effects control knobs, and this is also where you can access the mic levels. These effects controls can be MIDI learned and bound to CC values so that you can create automation in the grid editor. The multi-output options in the preset menu are used to send each stereo microphone channel to separate channels in your recording software if you wanted to output them in surround or process them with third-party plugins. The melodic percussion metal EKX includes a selection of MIDI organized by genre for each instrument. The MIDI is designed so that each vibraphone groove has a corresponding glockenspiel groove so that the instruments could be played together on two separate tracks in your DAW. The MIDI covers musical genres typically associated with the instruments and offers a few extra performances for the glockenspiel. The first and simplest way to use the MIDI is to simply drag individual blocks from the browser to the song track in the order that you choose to build your song. Once on the song track, you could change the tempo or key to better suit your composition. 
In the Easy Key song track, you can use the Edit Chord feature to change individual chords in the MIDI to your liking. Just double-click one of the chords in the song track to bring up the chord wheel and experiment with different options. To instead have Easy Keys provide a list of chord options, use the Suggest Chords feature. Just select a block on the song track and then click Suggest Chords. Here, Easy Keys will display all of the chords in the progression and provide a list of alternatives based on the selected genre. Any changes that you make to the chord progression do not affect the timing and rhythmic performance of the MIDI. This way, you still have the professional performance, but with a custom chord progression that suits your track. When all of your chord changes are dialed in, head to the Grid Editor for granular editing of every single detail. Here you can alter velocity, timing, or change the notes based on the currently selected key and scale with the Highlight Keys feature. Finally, simple chord progressions that you have created on the song track can be easily turned into complex melodic performances with the Replace MIDI feature. Here I have a simple progression on the song track. I'll make it sound like a real performance by selecting the file and then clicking Replace MIDI. Now I can browse any MIDI file that I have installed from the Grooves page and have it automatically conform to my chord progression. Once you find one that you like, click the Save Changes button to write the MIDI to the song track. Be sure to also check out the separate library Melodic Percussion Wood for a completely unique library featuring a marimba and a xylophone.